All right, so for the heart, you know, I'm, I'm not really concerned with redrawing it. Um, it's one of those things, a heart's a heart. It's, so what I'm going to do is take my pen tool and go around the outside edge of this heart just a little bit. And I click and drag to make this curve. There we go. Just like that. So if I want that heart to take shape, I'm on a new layer. And what I want to do is go into paths. And I have my brush set up already, so my brush is there. And what I should do is probably look to see if my brushes have some kind of taper, and it does. Okay. So with paths, what I can do is now drag this down to this icon right here. Okay. So six is kind of weak. Let me increase the size of this brush. Maybe a little bit more here. Too much. Good. And what happens here is I got this path now in my way, so I'm going to delete it out, and there's my heart. Oh, ho, ho, tricky, right? And if I want to straighten it out, I can go filter liquefy. One of my favorite tricks is just going in here, just straightening out some of this. So I don't think this video is more about, <laughs> it's it's gone off the path of like being a traditional tattoo artist or being an, a traditional artist in general because I'm applying, you know, all kinds of cheats and uh, different different things you just think about that people are going to be like, oh, you used the liquify tool to straighten it up? Well, you can't do that. Well, yeah, yeah I can. If it teaches you Photoshop, sure. Okay, so now I got the sword on one layer. I got the other on that layer. You know, I'm going to kind of look at it like, well, what fits now? Does it fit over here? Does it fit down the center? Now the problem with this is I do not want to ruin this piece of design. You know what I mean? I don't want to ruin my sword. So here is a nifty trick for that. You take and make a mask layer. Okay? Anything that you paint black on this little tiny square will now disappear. So if I take black on my brush and go like this and let's say I want it right here because I want it going in and here I want it coming out. Same with this heart. Let's make a mask layer for it. And now I want to delete that out. Because pretend later on down the road, you might want to move the sword into a different location. Well, you can do that. And nobody be the wiser. Okay, so if I just unlink these or delete these, they're gone. But... The, what's making them disappear is this layer right here. Pretty cool. Alright, so there's another trick in your arsenal. On to the next video.